You know, on the day of Pentecost, we've already sung it this morning. It says the room was filled with the sound of a rushing mighty wind. And flames of fire sat on each one. When the Holy Ghost rushed in out of heaven, it, 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 another translation says it came in out of the heavenly realm. It wasn't a sound that was created from earth. The sound that God responded to was a sound of unity. Understand this. When back in Genesis, when they tried to build the Tower of Babel, it was an unrighteous, rebellious unity. And God looked at him and said, you know what? These people are so unified, there's nothing impossible to them. Is that an astounding statement? He said that of their unified rebellion. And as a result, what he did is he scattered the languages. But on the day of Pentecost, God responded to their righteous unity. They were all together in one accord. And heaven opened and God responded. And you know what, you know what he did on that day? He gave them a common language. Not a scattered language, a common language. Now our tongues don't all sound the same, but it is a common language. It is the language of the Spirit. And we need to understand what it is that's been given to us. We have been given the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, it says the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. The Holy Spirit came upon them and then it went. It came upon them and it went. The only person that it says that it came upon and stayed was David. But we're not part of an Old Testament congregation. We are the ecclesia, the New Testament church. And the Holy Spirit comes upon us and it indwells us. He lives inside of us. He doesn't come and go. When the Holy Spirit rushed in, there were angels with him. I have to bring this up because since I've been here, I mean, this atmosphere is just so filled with angels. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are angel seers, but how many angel seers do we have here? I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not usually. I mean, I've had a few encounters, but this place is so filled with angels because the scripture says in, um, I think it's Psalms 103, it says that angels listen for the sound of the word. They listen for the word. And Psalms 91 actually says this. It says, he shall give his angels charge concerning you. Let me give it to you in the New American Standard. It says, he shall give his angels orders concerning you. Orders. <laughs> and I keep... We, we jokingly talked about there was a ladder in the office. And I said, oh, is that the ladder that the angels come up and down on? It goes up to an attic, okay? <laughs> but, but I've seen something that's, that's I've never seen before. And it's like this, these portals, just angels coming down, releasing, angels going up, angels going out. These portals, your doorkeepers, portals. <laughs> And angels are, are partnered. Do you, do you know that part of the fire that came was not just the fire of the Holy Ghost, but do you realize that angels are described throughout Scripture as fire? Angels spoke out of the burning bush, and the angel of the Lord spoke out of the fire in the burning bush. I think in Psalms 105, it says, who, God says he makes his angels winds, winds and fire. Now, I know, I know talking about angels can get squirrely. We don't worship angels. But let me just say, there's 287 times in the scripture that God talks about angels. And if your doorkeeper's here, you have to understand the portal that you're watching over. You've got to understand, and I'm, and I'm speaking to the whole church, but I'm speaking to these intercessors here. You're going to start seeing things more and more. We don't worship angels. We don't pray to angels. Come on. We don't talk to angels. We don't hang out with angels. Angels are not our buddies. They're not our friends. Come on. Oh, this is my angel. Nope. Don't do that. 
Look at your neighbor and say, don't be weird. Okay. I just feel, I feel this so strong. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse one says, though I speak in the tongues of men and of angels. So do you realize sometimes when you're speaking in tongues, and this is a speaking in tongues church, it does my heart good. Do you realize that sometimes when you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking in an earthly language? Did you know that? We had a young uh, girl that had just come from Latin America, spoke zero English, get filled with the Holy Ghost. She had her hands lifted up and she was praising the Lord in perfect English. We went up and talked to her afterwards and said, where, do you where did you learn English? And she looked at us with no understanding. She had no, no English at all. She spoke in pure English, praising the Lord in a tongue. So you may be speaking an earthly language, but you also may be speaking in heavenly language, an angelic language. Now, how many have ever traveled someplace where you don't speak the language? And you're sitting at a restaurant, you're having a conversation, and all of a sudden you hear somebody at the table right next to you speaking English. What do you do? I mean, you don't mean to, but you do, don't you? You lean in because they're speaking your language. <laughs> the angels, from the second that prayer starts in this place, I see the angels just Coming in, leaning in. What are they leaning in for? They're hearing your sound. They're hearing the sound that's created in this place. They're hearing a language and they're getting orders. Come on, when you're having your, your Friday night times of intercession, they're listening to those decrees. They're listening. They're literally lined up in the heavens. Okay, you take that decree. You take that decree. You take that word. You take that word. You go break through there. You go break through there. And then you charge in the spirit. And the angels go, okay, there's one order that they didn't speak in English, but I understood it in my language. I'm taking off. Come on. We are not to command the angels. The angels are under the Lord's command. But the angels listen to the decree of the Lord.